the best kind of cottage cheese to help you lose weight and burn more fat today. The best type of cottage cheese. Hi, I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, author of Lose Fat Forever, The Big Milk Triangle Diet, host of Live and Fit Now, contributor for USA Today. And cottage cheese is something that people like to talk about and they've asked me a lot about over the years in an effort to some, lose some weight, drop body fat, and get in better shape. And cottage cheese is a very good product. In fact, it is considered high in protein and the protein is casein protein which in case you're wondering, the release on protein, that's casein protein, is slower over time, which can really benefit and complement whey protein and other types of protein that absorb quicker. So the combination between the two can be great. However, the kind of cottage cheese can make a big difference. And cottage cheese in many ways is not much different than milk. For example, when you see milk, you see everything from skim, which is fat-free, to 1%, 2%, 4%, which is whole milk, half and half, which is half whole milk, half cream, light cream, heavy whipping cream, and heavy cream, all of which shows different amounts of milk fat in the product, but even more important than that, represents how much lactose or sugar is in the product. In fact, skim milk, which is fat-free milk, is by far and away the worst milk you could ever possibly drink, especially if you want to lose weight, drop body fat, and prevent diabetes. So don't drink skim milk at all. In fact, for my private clients, I wouldn't drink skim milk, I wouldn't drink 1%, I wouldn't take 2%, I wouldn't put it in my coffee, I wouldn't put it in my tea, I wouldn't put it in cereal, but then again, I wouldn't recommend cereal. I wouldn't have whole milk. In fact, half and half is half bad. I'd at least go to light cream, then heavy whipping cream, and then really heavy cream. Well, the same thing too with cottage cheese. They have skimmed or fat-free cottage cheese. There is 1%, there is 2%, there's 4% which is very equivalent to the whole milk scenario. Then, recently, in the last five, six years, you've seen something even higher. You've seen 6%. In fact, a company called Good Culture came out with the 6% cottage cheese, which has even less lactose, which is less sugar, and higher percentage of milk fat, which is fantastic, especially if you're on a keto-based diet or following the keto principles to try to burn more fat. But up until recently, there has been very few choices that were 6% or even higher, higher than 6%. In fact, maybe some of you know, some clients have already brought it to my attention, but yes, a 10% milk fat cottage cheese. This is sold and produced by Wegmans. It is not the only one in the country, but it's very available to a lot of people, especially in the Northeast, especially in Western New York. So you can easily get 10% cottage cheese. Now, with 10% cottage cheese, it has the lowest amount of lactose you can get per serving. It has the lowest amount of sugar you can get per serving. It has the highest amount per milk fat, which doesn't have the lactose of any cottage cheese. What does all that mean? It means when you take in a serving of this kind of cottage cheese, your blood sugar won't go up by much. In fact, it goes up very little, which is great because it means your body won't produce as much insulin. And if you don't produce as much insulin, you could drop more body fat because your body's able to maintain a state of, or some state of ketosis, so you could use fat for energy. Now, when you use this product, it doesn't really behave like a typical cottage cheese. If you don't know when you open this up, you're going to be surprised and you're going to think that you bought cream. In fact, you're going to be able to dump it right out. It is very watery. It looks like something you could pour right into your coffee. Now, in full disclosure, I haven't tried and I do try these types of things, but I haven't tried that. I find it as a wonderful complement to a protein shake or protein powder. In fact, when you mix the two together, whey protein, in fact, grass-fed whey protein like Pure Zealander with 10% cottage cheese and stir it up with a spoon, you have a protein pudding with two different types of proteins. And once again, the two different types of protein is the whey protein, the grass-fed whey protein, and the casein protein, which mixed together is a wonderful combination. Now that mixture could be used as a breakfast. 
That mixture could be used for any meal. That mixture could be used for post-workout. I'm not a fan of putting in different types of things into a post-workout protein drink, such as almond milk or fruit, because it will increase the glycemic index. But this is not. This is adding something that is extremely low, if no lactose or sugar, which is the other form of protein in the cottage cheese. So that's what you can do with your cottage cheese, which could really help, once again, decrease cravings, lower insulin, and help you lose weight and drop body fat. So hopefully today this video served you. I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, asking you to make the most of your life and live it fit.